Marshawn. He makes the flip at 306-4. Yeah, look at that. You see the pop up there? Big difference in last night. Big, big difference. This is a this is a guy that's saying, I want to be first, but I want to be first as a team, and I want to be first on that relay tonight. He'll go the breaststroke play. And his Olympic parents, Xavier and Celine, are in attendance here at Indianapolis. The final stroke for another national championship for Leon Marchand. 332-12. It's day three of the men's 2024 NC2A championships, and I don't know about anyone else, but I'm getting a little tired. It's really hard to be physically, and more importantly as a fan, emotionally involved in such a crazy and hype event like the NC2As and maintain that for multiple hours a day for four days. And there's someone else who seemingly is getting a little tired. Mr. Video Game himself, Leon Marchand. Or so it may have seemed in the 400 IM final, but if you look at the end of the session, maybe not so much. Let's talk about this. So Leon Marchand did the otherworldly last night in the 500 freestyle, swimming a 402.31, shattering the all-time record by nearly four seconds. Flash forward to tonight, Leon's top seed in the 400 IM, where he swam another otherworldly time last year at the NC2A Championships, going 328.82. He's primed to have another fantastic swim tonight in the final, but he also has the 400 medley relay coming up, where ASU definitely has a shot at winning their first ever relay title in program history. Leon goes out in the 400 IM and dominates, as expected, but towards the end of his swim, he was looking a little lackluster for Leon, not compared to anyone else. And as you saw before this, Rowdy even mentioned it on the broadcast that he didn't think Leon had that pop that we are used to seeing him have, or even that he had last night in the 500 freestyle. Leon touches in 332.12, over three seconds ahead of his next competitor, which was his ASU teammate, David Schlitt, and Leon seemed more happy about his teammate getting second and ASU going 1-2 than he did about his own swim. So flash forward to the 400 medley relay, the last event of tonight's session. Leon splits 48-73 in the breaststroke leg. The fastest breaststroke leg ever split in history and helps ASU to their first ever relay title in program history. That's a very big deal for Leon and for Arizona State. Now, before I go into my analysis, let's hear what Leon had to say about his 400 IM tonight. I don't think I did a really good job at recovering yesterday night. Um, my legs were really, really tired, I guess. It makes sense too, but sure. um, I think it's hard to do the 5-3 the and the 4 IM. That's a tough double. Um, but also, I think I was really focusing on that, that relay. So the first like 300 was really good and then not that good. Uh, I think I lost my rhythm in freestyle a little bit. Um, but it's still, it's still fine, like 332 I haven't done that many, so it's pretty good. Okay, so here's what I think. When I saw the broadcast, when I heard Rowdy saying what he did say, I was in the Browdy boat. In my head I was thinking, Leon really does not need to go very fast to win this event. And I don't think he's going for some otherworldly record like he did in the 500 free, cause he already did that in the 400 IM last year. He has left his mark without a doubt in this event already. And he has bigger goals this year. Arizona State is going for their very first team title in program history. And Leon can maximize his contribution to that without going all out in the 400 IM final. I think a little part of him probably also wanted to drag his teammate with him to a 1-2 finish. And beating him only by three seconds compared to seven seconds probably helps his teammate feel pretty good about the swim that he, as in David Schlitt, is having at the time. And then we get Leon's perspective on it, which is, he probably didn't recover the best that he could last night after the 500 freestyle. And he was just a little bit tired and lackadaisical for the 400 IM. And he said it himself, he was more focused on that medley relay. So it's not that he wasn't trying as hard as he could in the 400 IM, so much that it was he wasn't as focused on his individual swim as he was on his relay swim, once again, trying to maximize his contribution to Arizona State's overall team title hunt, as well as their 
team relay hunt, of which they accomplished that goal tonight. So to summarize, personally, I think Leon took his foot off the gas, if not physically, mentally, just a little bit in the 400 IM tonight, so that he could be at his best in the 400 medley relay, which ended up paying off. ASU has their first relay title in program history, and it looks like they have a very good chance of winning their first ever NC2A team title in program history tomorrow night on the final day. All that to say, Leon is probably a little bit tired himself too. And if you have stuck around this long throughout our entire NC2A coverage, I just wanna say thanks. I know it's a long meet, I am exhausted, but we've only got one more day to go and it is going to be a thriller. So if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of the video content we put out tomorrow on the final day of this 2024 Men's NC2A Champs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.